force was used in different ways, but for example, it's going to get the boring because we didn't have the immediate transportation at that time. Uh, you know, at that time, well, there was an infrastructure here in our country, there was in cars, there were, there were in, uh, motorbikes and all those things, because it was in the 15th century. So we used this medium of transportation for going everywhere in the parts, just around the country. And as you know, uh, at that time, we didn't have the infrastructure we have nowadays. So uh, this horse is used nowadays for transportation <coughs> too. But in, in, great, in, in great productions, in big productions, like for example, for uh, managing the cattle and taking the cattle to, to the places they wanted to go. Uh, when they have like a thousand uh, uh, heads of cattle, they gotta take uh, those uh, those animals to some places and they gotta transfer all of them by the usage of these horses, uh, the, the cow, with the cowboys. So, one of the other important things about this horse is that in 1525, the horse uh, was brought to the Caribbean coast uh, side of the country and eventually, in between 1536 and 1545, uh, there were already 800 horses here in our country. Uh, and those horses were uh, already 800 horses here in our country. Uh, and those horses were uh, in different places like Bonaventura, Panama, Cartagena, all of those places at the same time. So over time, um, by the Indian breeding of the horse, the, the genetic and phenotypical features of the horse change. Uh, so we can see that it is a, it's a strong horse, it's got a lot of muscle, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big horse, it's, it's, it's a horse with a big size. And not just that, but it's used in many sports, like for example, the most important one is the lottery, which is basically the, the, the demonstration of the different ways that a horse can, can walk, uh, depending on the speed that is applied to the horse. So, uh, when the cowboy wants, wants to do this, for example, go like trail and trot. Uh, it, it uses like a sort of communication with the horse, like uh, you know, not, not, like, like touching the horse in some particular way, so that it can walk that way. Uh, there's another one that is uh, short and trip and trail. Uh, my peer here is going to talk about. Um, that's pretty much almost everything about the horse. The other thing that is important is that the horse has got a lot of uh, different features, like for example, the speed, the strength, and it's a noble race. It means that it can be uh, dominated a little bit easily. Um, the other trail or trot, uh, it, it uses like a sort of communication with the horse, like, uh, you know, no, no, like, like touching the horse in some particular way so that it can walk that way. Uh, there's another one that is uh, short and trip and trail that my, my peer here is gonna talk about. Um, that's pretty much almost everything about the horse. The other thing that is important is that the horse has got a lot of uh, different features, like for example, the speed, the strength, and it's a noble race. It means that it can be uh, dominated a little bit easily. Um, the other thing that I don't want to talk about is uh, probably, probably uh, that the horse is still used, unfortunately, uh, for uh, not important uses, like for example, carrying things nowadays in some places. Uh, so it's not good because this, this horse ain't designed for those kind of works, like carrying uh, a carriage or something like that. And it, it destroys the structure of the horse, so it shouldn't be done. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. So if you're here, I'm going to keep going with the, with the presentation. If you have any questions or something like that, it's, feel, free, feel free to ask me in Spanish if you want. I'm going to ask you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>